good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video i wanted to discuss about the chaining of her hand and some other islands and some other markings on her hand now first of all i wanted to give a caution that you know the people should not get uh, you know worried if they have a lot of chains or uh, any other ill markings because these signs i've seen in long term do change and they are proportional to one's uh, outlook you know and uh, like and also shifting energy for example you see that the heart line is you know heart line is totally well formed and you see a small amount of chaining coming in on the head line then the person should be suggested to take rather more or go more on his or her intuition or with his or her heart more rather than going with the brain because maybe maybe the person is uh, maybe a person is a bit confused so you know that that's how you know chaining and all these negative marks uh, do not certainly tell about an event i mean i've seen lines changing i've seen cha chains changing so but anyway in this video we will discuss about them right now first of all starting with the heart line now if you see the heart line coming in and you see a lot of offshoots going down right you see a lot of lines which are going down instead of going up there are a lot of lines going down then that can mean uh, somehow the person is disappointed in love matters now why do i call disappoint what do we exactly mean by disappointed in love matters is that you know the person expected something from the affection and probably did not get it and did not feel good about it and probably that's why these offshoot lines comes in right it can also mean that somehow the person's expectations were quite high from the person and uh, you know th those expectations were not fulfilled and that kind of created a frustration and the, again these lines comes in now you also see a line which comes off uh, and, and 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 is very dark very dark line instead of going up you see another branch going down then that can mean disappointment in love again so it can also mean towards some some kind of a disappointment uh, so it, these are all not very good signs but again they all mean that the person was somehow not very happy or expected too much from the partner and didn't get that and probably that kind of created you know, a lot of frustration right now going ahead with the headline now again again chaining on the heart line right now we talked about the offshoots if if also you get a lot of chaining here then that generally indicates towards a lot of confusion they can mean that you know the person is you know continuously uh, feels chained feels confined or maybe confused it can mean that the person is not very sure maybe maybe something happened due to which this kind of an approach or this chaining effect happened but in any case it can indicate towards a bit of frustration but it also at times indicate towards health issues if you see small islands coming under the apollo it can indicate some kind of an eye trouble and the person should be careful in that case but again if you have a lot of chaining on the heart line a lot of down shoots and probably the person is uh, very disappointed in love matters and somehow very confused right and of course in that case you see a small sister heart line coming in at times you will see small sister heart line coming in and that would support this line right now going ahead with the headline now if your headline has a lot of has islands only at the beginning right so small island is just like a chain or you know like this you'll get small chaining like structures or also referred to as island or chains so if you get them only at the beginning of the lifeline then that can in indicate a you know a, a bit of stressful childhood so some kind of problems came in when the person was as a child and you know if you if you see that kind of again all these deformations on the heart or the headline you have to go and check in the health line if the health line is clearly marked then it's more of a mental frustration if there are markings on the health line of shoots or small islands on the health line then of course if if heart line and health line both have islands it can be a heart trouble and if if the headline and the Uh, health line head and the health line both have islands again it can indicate towards some kind of a brain problem or maybe maybe a, a lot of depression or anything can be true right and this is more to do with the disease and if the health line does not is clearly marked then more of mental frustration or emotional frustration would be indicated 
now again a lot of chaining inside the jupiter can sometimes mean that the person was very ambitious and 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 because the person did not reach his ambitions that led to a bit of disappointment and the person did not feel good about it that kind of created more confusions and more frustrations now again if it can, comes under saturn it can indicate that the person was uh, uh, that the person was somehow uh, uh, more morbid more melancholic and these all uh, these all things will be attracted if you find the island under saturn if you find a lot of islands coming under apollo right uh, under the apollo mount then that can mean that the person desired a lot of fame and probably in uh, was very passionate and tried really hard and probably uh, whatever happened but the person was not happy about it maybe maybe the person still got fame but not to a level he desired of and that kind of frustrated him and then you see islands coming under the apollo same way a business problem or business trouble can be indicated by you see a lot of islands coming in under mercury but always remember a big island at the end of the heart line uh, uh, sorry in the end of the head line uh, and also confirming an island on the health line can indicate towards some intestinal problems right nothing major but again the person should be careful right so we discussed about the small islands or the chaining that can uh, uh, that can come in your hand right so always remember see if you find the the on the passive hand now this is we are talking about the major or the dominant hand the dominant hand is the hand with which we do most of our tasks so if you find a lot of chaining on the passive hand at the passive hand a lot of has a lot of chains but the active hand has fewer chains that means the person really worked hard and improved his conditions and and worked positively and and probably the chain effect got reduced you see the contrary thing happening then the person was not meant to go into that deeper trouble but because the person started you know uh, attracting more of it and started taking things negatively that kind of happened so what i wanted to say is that you know uh, the left hand or the passive hand shows your natural course whereas the right hand or the uh, or the active hand at times uh, shows what's really going on right so always remember if your headline on the passive hand is not having any chain but your active hand has a lot of chain then that means that with a little bit of pushing and you know a little bit of self help the person can come out of those islands and you can see the island becoming diminished or or you know things improving right now going ahead now if you see the uh, you know it, at whichever point the island comes on the lifeline it can indicate two words two things one of a health problem and other a hindrance now if if it occurs somewhere here and you see you know uh, the health line has having no defect and the health line is clearly marked then it's more of hindrance from other side and if you see a small sister line coming in then this sister line will support it and in that case the person will have created or uh, would be you know help himself or herself out of with the help of others will be able to face this situation in a good way right so always be careful with the sister lines always remember that if if suppose one of the lines suppose the heart line and the head line are both are very chained but the life line is not chained so the person will say that you know mentally he was confused heart wise he was confused but nevertheless the life was quite smooth on the contrary you see the head line to be having no markings the the heart line is correctly formed but the life line has a lot of chains and the person will say though the person was heart wise very good head wise very good but uh, the life always seem, seem to have a lot of hindrances and problems so that is the you know reading given in general if you are going about the islands now another point is the gap at times we find that the life line has a small gap now this gap is definitely not a good sign it can mean it can refer or it can mean accidents or it can mean some kind of a problem but if you see a small sister line coming in then the problem is not that a big one always remember when this kind of gap is found on the is not found on the passive hand it is only found in the right hand and that's not a very major a problem but if this kind of gap happens in both the hands and the person should be more careful about it right i also wanted to tell that when you see suppose you see the uh, you see the headline is very chained right 
and you see the heart line to be clearly marked you see all the mounts are uh, correctly marked then the person should be guided to you know to to believe more in his heart decisions more on intuition and go on the qualities of different mounts rather than concentrating too much on his logic ability because maybe the person is temporary in uh, temporary having a bit of confusion because of the islanding effect found there right so hopefully you understood or have have a have a better understanding on on the active and the passive hand you also probably understood about the islands you probably also understood about the islands and the different mounts and different down shoot lines on the heart line sister lines and and the health line hopefully uh, you know you will be able to see these markings because many people do have it but i have always seen with with good amount of uh, you know focus concentration and and uh, and concentrating on the positive points on the hand if the person has done that even the weak weak markings are uh, improve and the good markings improve further so always remember that that wherever you see these kind of islands a person should not be directed to those qualities should be directed to the qualities in which the person is good at and you will see that those weak markings will gradually disappear right i'm shwetang into palmistry do check my channel for more thank you take care bye bye